I'm Mark Savage here, part three, and welcome to my channel. Underneath, I am filthy. The, the jet washing it and then using the old wax spray. Oh, it just goes everywhere. You're just black. My clothes are black, my face was, I've washed it. Still just coming off horrible. Anyway, let's have a quick look underneath and see what we've done so far. So I jet washed all underneath the arches and got rid of all of the mud. Looking pretty good under there. There's the filth we did the other day. I know it's black, sorry. But uh, there's the frame done. I haven't got a lighting studio. Underneath black, nicely blacked again. And then at the front, looking a lot nicer than it originally was. So the underneath, well obviously I'm not gonna black these yet. But it is starting to look a little bit better. That you can see nicely now. Got to do the insides. To the rear. Did this as well. Starting to, isn't it? So far, I've used four cans under there. So I jet washed it all with my jet wash. Fuck off, mate. Just drive. What's wrong with people? Use the old carter under there. Believe you me, that was a mess. What's going on with these fucking buttons? Ah, dustman. Then got a wire brush, went over it. Now, MOTs, if any of you found recently bloody MOTs, the over-exaggerations, you know, of brake lines full of grease and unable to check. What are you talking about? Underneath this was, oh, terrible corrosion. You know, I've rubbed it all down, I've washed it all. I've rubbed it all down, I've washed it all, and it's nowhere near as bad. There's no cracks in it, it's just, Nicely, once you rub it down and wax it over, it looks good as gold. Maybe been done a couple of four years ago, it might have been better. But the over exaggeration of screen damaged is a tiny, tiny little stone chip right on the passenger side of this motor. I can't believe how over exaggeration they do now. Corrosive rust and massive oil leak. It isn't now. Have a look. I have to say, it was dripping a lot. And now I've got no water leak, I've got no oil leak. It's looking really good to be honest with you. And if we take a look at this engine now, polished it all up, and the oil leak was right in here, where the filter was. I mean, it's hand tight, so no wonder it was all leaking out. But I can see now it's actually looking a lot better. I could jet wash all in here, I suppose, and get rid of the last of the oil, but eventually it will come down itself. Water level hasn't moved. I did the gators the other day as well. They didn't go on too bad. This was a bugger, but they went on really well. Uh, I think we'll clean the seats up today and get all this done. So all in now, driving a lot better after the fuel filter and the air filter. Wow, the revs went up quicker. It didn't feel like it was pulling back so much. Drove a lot nicer. Um, also the injection cleaner has gone all the way through now and I've got another tank in there running really well. Happy underneath, and I've got to say, another four cans coming, and when it's warmer, and not like minus whatever it's gonna be now, I'll get right under here, rub the rest of it down, and put another coat, and that will seal this motor for a very, very long time. So I'm more than happy with that. Why you don't do it in the first place, I don't know, because it's not a lot of money. You get these cans for about 10 pounds, you know, 50, 60 pounds, I suppose I'll pay about 80, but I wanna do a good job of it. I did it with my Dodge Ram, I did it with the Navara, just makes a lot of sense, it prolongs the longevity of the motor, you've got to do it. And why I keep saying motor, I do not know. Disco, Land Rover, call it what you want. I know it's the other I keep saying motor. <laughs> anyway, let me get on with this. Also noticed, I'd use that rough stuff on these to make them look rough and tump. If you're not gonna jack up and put big wide wheels and a snorkel and 400 lights, why bother? When I jet washed it last time, actually it came off. So I'm gonna jet wash this now all around here. Hopefully all that rubbish will come off as well. A few little touch up bits. 
and the next one will be where we give it a really good polish and clean. It's a very short video today, I just wanted to show you underneath, you know, uh, the, the list, of, uh, it's basically a moan about bloody MOT stations. I know they've got a job to do, but my God, they really do go over the top now. Have you seen them shaker plates as well? Where they work on their own now, they jack it up and it shakes the whole vehicle violently left to right. That's not a natural motion driving down the road, is it? really shakes them off it just damage the bushes i think the idea is now to make sure that you over exaggerate every single thing you've got to make it look amber and red on when you get the readouts that they're doing their job um, and they want them off the road that's what i think it is all this bloody electric crap on the road you know oh get me going doesn't it anyway let's get on with this so here we have a quick polish up and tidy it's starting to look okay to be honest with you there was a lot to it the roof lining i pushed up but it comes down again. I think it's pretty standard in these motors. I'm gonna have to um, pull it all here and then I'll glue it up. It's not in the world though. Rear seats come up white. Right. I do like the little bit in the middle. Floor's good. This is what normally goes on these and they are solid. So I'm happy for that. And the other side as well, completely solid, which is good. Starting to come around. The rear was always very good actually. Good on the carpets. Seats look good. I don't think they've been used much. Now the tinted windows, you can see, they could do with coming off and redoing. I do think, uh, yeah, okay, hello. When are you eyes still? Slowly she moves. I do think uh, spraying that up looks much, much tidier. And the step as well, push that down. All starting to look very tidy under there. I tried the old hot water trick on this. It didn't work, it's way too thick. Sit, sit. Just got to polish and clean now. Happy days. On a nice warm day that I'm not freezing my ass off, I will polish it, get all the cat scratches out of it, because that's all this has got. It's not got any deep key marks on it. A few minor little dinks here and there. As I said, it wasn't abused. I can polish all the roof, polish all the sides, but it's just too damn cold today. So, a bit of a mismatch today. I really wanted to get underneath, but you know, it's so bloody filthy. And without the spray cans working, it's no sense in doing that. So we'll get back under there. So the next video, We'll go through a whole tea cut of this and then show you underneath the way it looks now, nice, clean and polished, and go from there. Right, simple one really. Just to finish off what I said I'd promise to show you, but say, a damn fork, it's too cold. It's about three degrees today, I am cold. Take care of yourselves on the road. We'll have a part four. Probably much more worth watching that one, so bloody cold. Ta-da.